Hey everyone, this is ADAP. Uh, today I wanted to do actually a little quick video. Let me see if I can put a little bit more light on it. Um, should I put a little more light on it? I guess so. I'll do that for now. Anyway, um, so I wanted to talk about something I named uh, adulting and defensive emoting, right? So, what does that mean? Everyone kind of knows what defensive driving is. Um, defensive driving is when you are driving for yourself but then also driving for others meaning that even though you're within your own lane and you're following all the rules you also have to make sure that the people to your right left front back corner 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 are also you know not putting you in danger it doesn't necessarily have to do with what they're actually doing um, because that's not really your responsibility um, so yeah that's pretty much along the lines of what defensive uh, emoting is um, so as grown people we understand that it is a scenario that we must uh, move through life in a way that causes us the most success and there's a lot of different ways that people do that but in essence it all boils down to how you control yourself uh, in adversity right in those things that present themselves to you uh, no matter who you are what you do how good you are there's always going to be uh, an opportunity for you to slip up uh, keywords don't panic right don't panic um so essentially, let's give it a scenario, right? You are minding your business, you know, things are rolling well, and then some random problem pops up, and it's somebody that you know, and it's a scenario that is makes no sense. So obviously it's inspired, but it makes no sense. And so by it making no sense, it is your responsibility within that to control how you react to it. Um, from even just a basic thinking level, like even thinking, you know, it, it depends on like where you are, but sometimes thinking is enough to like cause it to be an issue. So what I mean by this, let me see. Yeah, yeah, yeah like that. <clears throat> So what I mean is, um, you, you're driving and out of nowhere in your mind, you know, a thought is like, oh, what if, you know, a, a weird scenario of you having a car crash happens, right? It is in your best interest to get off of that thought as quickly as possible don't think about it like it just happened it just passed your brain you can't stop it you can't go back and erase it you can't you know literally stop that thought that had just happened but you can continue on push on without like thinking so deeply about it um that now you're preoccupied with the thought and now all of a sudden like all these cars around you and you're, you're panicking and shit you might self-fulfill that shit you might make it happen all of a sudden now you're in an accident and you're like damn it and of course most people especially people that are not um, adults right they will take this as oh you know it just happened like it just happened versus it being like no nah, it was a scenario where you were there you thought about it and then you continued to obsess about it and then it happened um, whether or not that was you literally, that's how stuff happens sometimes, or whether it's just some other type of bull, bull crap that happens in life. So as I'm saying, the defensive emoting is you controlling your outcome as much as possible. Some things are going to happen eventually, like maybe, but literally don't put that control outside of those things that are are presented to you 
you know, those things that you do have control over <clears throat> versus those things you don't have control over. Those things you do have control over, your thoughts, your actions. And uh, don't let people put you outside of your square. Like, you you totally can see, I'll, I'll call it a cube or your box, you know what I mean? Like, you can see that this person is acting retarded. Like, you can see it. You know that they're acting retarded. It doesn't make sense that they're acting retarded, so don't engage them back. Like, don't engage them back. Just... You know, if you can ease the situation, you know, if you have that desire, ease the situation. If you can't, go along with your business because that is the best thing that you can do in defensive emoji. And that's all I wanted to say. I just wanted to put that little tidbit out there it's just to be a cool person. Um, no, I'm not growing dreadlocks, but it seems like my hair wants to do that. I'll think about that sooner than sooner or later, but I'm still enjoying my free hair and whatnot. So anyway, that's all I wanted to say. I need to go to sleep so I can get ready for my uh, little shift in the AM. And uh, I just want everybody to know that everything's going well. Um, here coming soon, I will finally be back on track, which is awesome. Um, back on track with my uh, desires that I want. Uh, some of them you know of and some of them I'm not talking about just because um, It's personal. It's personal to me and it's something that I want to observe for myself for myself in my life and um, Yeah, that's it's cool. It's cool. It's definitely a good scenario where uh, it, It's good for me. It's good for others. You know, it's not harming anyone. So um, Anyway, have a good morning Peace Wait, wait, let me see if I can add stuff here. Uh, let me try to send y'all away with something cool. Uh, LED starburst. Okay, that wasn't as cool as I thought it was going to be. Bye.